Have you ever found it in your heart to forgive the Nazi officers who oppressed you? Well, I will have an opportunity to talk to a Nazi, actually. I'm, I'm going to Germany this coming Sunday. I'll be a witness at a trial that is currently going on. Um, the, the German uh, government is trying a former Nazi who, is, uh, who was a young man at the t when he was on the ramp at Auschwitz. Oskar Gronig was a Nazi officer stationed at Auschwitz. Known as the bookkeeper of Auschwitz, his job was to collect the money and valuables from prisoners as they arrived on the platform, keep accounts of the monetary value, and send the funds back to Berlin. Gronig was 23 at the time, and now at the age of 93, the German government had finally brought him to trial. What they wanted is to find survivors who came from Hungary during the months of uh, May and June 1944, 1944. In those two months, something like 400,000 Jews from Hungary were delivered to Auschwitz. And the killing just went on day and night. And he was there on the platform at the time doing his harmless little job of collecting valuables from people who were about to be killed. So should I forgive him for what he did so many years ago? I predict that I will not forgive him because when he saw the atrocities and he, he says, I saw atrocities, he says, I saw that the women and children went, in, went into the uh, gas chambers and I saw myself how the gas pellets were dropped through the roof into the chamber and I heard the blood curdling screams and then I heard the screams getting lower, and then there was silence. And I would like to ask him, when you heard that, did you throw up? What did you do? Go back to your station at the ramp and collect some more money and valuables? Irene was one of several Auschwitz survivors that testified at Gronig's trial. Though Gronig admitted that he is morally guilty for his association with Nazi acts of terror, he insisted that he never personally murdered anyone. For Irene, he was part of the system that murdered her family, and she went to Germany hoping for answers. If he had sat there in his Nazi uniform as a 13-year-old, I would have been terrified, and as an 84-year-old, I would be terrified. But I was looking at an old man and thinking, how could all that have happened? What was he thinking when he was 21, 22, doing what he did? And why doesn't he come forward and say, I'm very sorry, I didn't think, or I was misled, or I was stupid, or I was... Why not come give people some understanding of what was he thinking? He should hear what, what his patriotism and his devotion to Hitler caused to people. Irene was able to testify at Groning's trial. She sat 20 feet away from the former Nazi and recounted her family's story. She talked about being persecuted in her town, being deported to the ghetto, and ultimately to Auschwitz, and losing most of her family to the gas chambers. She was able to tell Groning the effect that he and the Nazi regime had on her life. When she finished, he looked at his watch. In the end, Groning was sentenced to four years in prison.